The name of this tutorial is Ira Krakow's Yaffaray Blender 2.49 tutorial. Yaffaray is an external renderer. Download it from www.yaffaray.org that is integrated with Blender 2.49 via Python scripts. You can add many dramatic features such as global illumination, caustics, enhanced ray tracing, and self-illuminated objects to your renders with Yaffaray. Yaffaray extends Blender's built-in renderer with special types of lighting, new material options, and enhanced world settings. It's not intuitive how to run Yaffaray to get these features. Yaffaray works with the settings you set up in Blender, ignores some of them, and adds other features. The goal of this tutorial is to show you an efficient workflow of Blender and Yaffaray. I can't cover all the features in a short video. Hopefully there will be enough for you to get started and to explore more on your own. There's no substitute for practice. I'm assuming that you have installed Yaffaray correctly to work with Blender 2.49b. So let's get started. Delete the default cube. Go to Front View, Numpad 1. Add the monkey, Space Add Mesh Monkey. Give the monkey a red material by going to the shading buttons, F5, and clicking Add New. Set the diffuse color to red, R equals 1, G equals 0, and B equals 0. Name the material Monkey Mat, so we can track it in Yaffaray. It's a good idea to name the material something that's associated with the object it's with to track it in Yaffaray. Now go to the Edit buttons, F9, and press Set Smooth. Add a plane below the monkey, Space Add Mesh Plane. Scale the plane up 10 times, S10, Enter. Add a green material by pressing F5, the shading buttons, selecting Add New, and setting the diffuse color to green, R equals 0, G equals 1, and B equals 0. Name the material Plane Mat. Press F12 to render using Blender's internal renderer. Split the 3D window in two, one on the left, the other on the right. Change the left window to a scripts window. Change the right window to an outline window. Click on the scripts menu. Select the render menu item and then click Yaffaray export 0.1.1. Press the render button to see how Yaffaray renders the same scene. Everything looks grayish, including the background. Neither the monkey's material, the plane's material, nor the background is applied to the render. Some Blender 3D settings are exported to Yaffaray and others are not. So let's fix the world settings first. To fix that, click on World. There are a number of background settings. For a single color, click on Single Color and select the color. Let's make it blue. R equals 0, G equals 0, and B equals 1 to make it similar to Blender's 3D background. And click Render. We now have a blue background. We can also have a gradient. Close the Render window, click the World button again, select Gradient. You can have a horizon color, a zenith color, a horizon ground color, and a zenith ground color. And click Render again. An intriguing world setting is Sun Sky, which gives a sunny background. Again, close the Render window and click the World button. Click on Sun Sky. Click the Add Real Sun button. Click Render. Now the world looks sunny. There are quite a number of options you can play with. Now let's fix the monkey and the plane materials. Click the Always Show Active Object button so we can be sure we're working on the material for the active object. Plane mat for the plane, monkey mat for the monkey. Let's make the plane a green, shiny, diffuse material. Change the color to green, R equals 0, G equals 1, and B equals 0. Click the Render button to see the change. In the Outline window, click on Suzanne to change the active object to the monkey. Make the monkey a shiny, diffuse material as well. Change its color to red, R equals 1, G equals 0, and B equals 0. Click the Render button. Now the monkey is red, the plane is green, and the background is blue, similar to Blender's internal renderer. An interesting built-in Yaffaray material is Coated Glossy. Let's apply that material to Suzanne. Change the diffuse color to red and the glossy color to yellow, R equals 1, G equals 1, and B equals 0. Click the Render button. So now we have a nice glossy feel to the monkey. And there are many other material settings you can play with. The Blender camera has additional capabilities in Yaffaray. Change the selected object to camera 
and click the Objects button. The default mode is Perspective, as in Blender 3D. A dramatic effect is Angular, which gives us a spherical angular look when we render. We can adjust the max angle to change the diameter of the sphere, giving the render a fisheye effect. The mirrored effect gives the appearance of the scene as if from behind the mirror. Click the mirrored button, and you can adjust the mirror angle as well. Orthographic gives results similar to Blender's orthographic camera. Change the scale to 15 and click the render button. Architect is similar to perspective, except that the vertical lines are parallel. If you want to save the render as an image file, you need to do it before you exit out of the render window. Click the render button. From the image button, click save as. Yaff Array lets you save an image as a bitmap file, a PNG file which has an alpha channel, and an EXR file for HDR images that include extra color de information for high definition images. You can make any mesh a light source in Yaff Array. The light emanates from the face normals of the mesh. To illustrate, let's make the monkey a mesh light. Select Suzanne from the outliner, click on Object in Yaff Array, and click Enable Mesh Light, and click Render. Suzanne acts like a light bulb, even casting shadows of itself onto the plane. Neat. Click Enable Mesh Light again to turn off the monkey as a mesh light. Yaff Array adds more functionality to the different blender lamps. From the outline window, select the lamp. In the buttons window, change the lamp type to sun and click the render button. The sun lamp, when turned on, gives the effect of direct sunlight. The light can project either as a cylinder or a cone. From the buttons window, change the lamp to a spotlight. In Yap Array, change the type to spot and click the render button. Now we have a nice spotlight. We can adjust the spot size, the angle, and the blurriness of the spot in the buttons window in Blender 3D itself. Click on Settings. You can turn on ambient occlusion under the direct lighting settings with AO type shadows. And you can also try photon mapping, which produces the results you see. And path tracing gives you yet another option to customize your render. I hope this gives you some idea of the power of the combination of Blender and Yaff Array. It's a great combination. There's certainly more you can explore. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button on YouTube. Please comment on this tutorial at my Blender 3D forum at forum.iracrackow.com. Happy blendering!